So Stellar Blade is a game that's releasing exclusively for the PlayStation 5 on April 26th of this year. That's roughly around a week from me recording this video. And personally, I'll just put it out there, this game has never been one that really interests me. It was never really that exciting. And when I heard about it a few years ago, I was like, okay, and just kind of kept going. To me, this is a game that's very similar to Nier Automata and Bayonetta. Now, a lot of people do love those games. Those are two franchises that I'm like, okay, they really didn't excite me that much. That's just me. If you're a fan of those games, totally fine. Like I said, when this game came out, that's what it kind of reminded me of. Didn't really care about it. And I didn't think that much of it. The amount of me not caring about it is I have still yet to download and even play the Stellar Blade demo because personally, I just really didn't care. I didn't really plan on buying it. Well, there has been so much controversy around this game and I'm not going to go into the full detail of what's all going around Stellar Blade. Obviously, if you're probably looking at this video, you kind of have an idea of what's going on. But ultimately, the huge thing is IGN made another big oopsie on pretty much Stellar Blade and the way the protagonist looks in the game. Now, I'll just put it out there. I have a lot of issues with IGN, and I'm sure there's a lot of other people that have issues with IGN as well, but there are some people at IGN that when they talk, I actually do value what they say. A couple is like Ryan McCaffrey or Destin. Now, I know there has people are gonna say, oh, they had issues here and there, but I think they legitimately do try to give good information, and they're actually giving unbiased opinions maybe they're a little biased sometimes but i feel like they will tell you that it's biased but that's just me ign i just really don't care for a lot of stuff they talk about it anymore and they're up there with companies like kotaku and stuff like that for me well the big thing right now is that as you probably already know ign france uh pretty much looked at the character was some guy that wrote an article about it or review or whatever and he kind of shredded the director of the game now you can like i said you can look into it oh, there's a billion videos on everything that he said against the director the main IGN had to come back and say hey 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 this is an independent studio we don't control them <laughs> which i'm like how is that a good response <laughs> hey this is an independent studio are their views and values that off from what you guys are like why should i listen to them then moving forward but that's a whole nother topic you attack a game like stellar blade again a game that i personally don't care about that much but you attack a game like stellar blade when you praise games like near automata and bayonetta i actually had to go look to see what they reviewed those games and those games are like nines and almost tens you know and I feel like those games are very similar to, you know, how they portray the female protagonists in those games. I feel like clothing and everything is very, very similar. But the thing that's interesting to me about Stellar Blade is that they didn't even talk about gameplay. If they did, it was barely. They were so focused on her outfit. Now, here's the thing. I actually showed my wife because she my wife knew nothing about stellar blade if you guys have watched the channel or if you're new to it my wife has been in some of my earlier videos um and she's actually a youtuber herself she actually posts videos on her own channel so she's an actual woman <laughs> and i asked her what did she think now here's the thing i showed her like i don't know maybe a trailer or two i know that the game has other outfits and skins that you can unlock I didn't really look that deep into it, nor did I show her that. So just going off of the default outfit, I showed her that and she looked at it and she was like, yeah, I mean, she had no issues that I remember her saying with the outfit. The funny thing that she said was when I kind of told her about the controversy going on is that, yeah, when she's a girl and when she plays games, she actually wants to be a pretty looking girl in games. Big shock, I know, right? Um, my wife is very into beauty and, you know, that's a lot of stuff that her channel was around, you know? For a little background, my wife is a pretty big gamer. So even though she has a beauty channel and she's always doing herself up, she goes to the gym like six or seven times a week you know it's kind of crazy but she's really really into health she's really really into beauty and she still plays games quite frequently and i'm not just saying she plays games like stardew valley which nothing, no knock on that but she really be playing these real like you know she playing these games she'd be in the trenches with me we playing games and we'd be on competitive and ranked and she'd be right there you know yelling in the mic and all that so you know she's really committed to her games and she looked at this and was like yeah, when I play a game, I don't want to look like a man. 
want to look like a girl. So when they talk about exaggerated body proportions, I'm actually jumping ahead a little bit and I'll get to, I don't really think this character has any exaggerated body proportions. Yeah, she has a, uh, I will say like a fitted outfit for sure. I will say it is exaggerated, especially since her body was scanned from an actual woman. They When they made this character, her face was kind of animated. They, they made that in-house, the studio, but the, body of the character was actually scanned from a real life woman. Now the thing is, it's not just IGN as a whole or Kotaku or anything like that. Apparently there was something that came out where Microsoft is asking devs to pretty much not put exaggeration body portions on characters. And look, I don't really care if they have exaggerated body portions or not. Um, but there, you know, some of the stuff that they're putting here is so dumb to me. Are you unnecessarily introducing gender and gender barriers into your code and design? Whatever that means. Are you creating a playable female character with equal skill and ability to their male peers? Are your female characters equipped with clothing and armor that fits their task? I mean, okay, I'm gonna get back to that in a minute. Uh, <laughs> When the story allows, do you show male characters who display a full range of emotions, including joy, sadness, and vulnerability? Now, I'm going to talk on this part really, really quick. When you read that sentence, I want you to think of Halo. If you know anything about the Halo franchise, think of Master Chief and in the video game. All right. Now that you thought of him, think of all the issues wrong with the TV show. <laughs> Nobody wants to see a crybaby man, you know, as this person you look up to. I remember growing up, I've been playing that franchise since like 2001 when the game came out. And I remember looking at him like, oh, this is cool. This is awesome. This is, I was not sitting there going like, man, I wish he cried more. Uh, as far as the clothes, yes, it is a known fact that women's armor is really stupid in a lot of stuff. The problem is, and this goes for IGN as far as Microsoft, don't sit up there and praise the anime community for things like One Piece, for example, when you have issues with it exactly. Like, could you imagine if IGN was to start shredding anime? No, they praise anime. A lot of anime that they praise is stuff that goes against what they talked about, for example. So you, I don't know why Stellar Blade is getting this crazy level of hate where other franchises don't get it. Now, here's the thing. I'm not complaining against anime. I'm not complaining against near or bayonetta i don't really care you know and i love anime but those other games i really didn't care that much about the fact that they're zooming so tough into this is i'm like what's the problem here the gaming industry as a whole needs to kind of get their stuff together they need this this whole making women ugly i actually showed my wife the fable trailer and that trailer put her off so much because of how ugly the woman was like that just tells you girls real girls want to play games where they look pretty. It's very rare. You may have a crowd that don't care, but it's very rare that I feel like you have women out there. And honestly, there's a big chunk of women that I've seen or know online that have very similar ideas of what I'm talking about here. And the fact that they don't really want to play as an ugly woman. I don't want to play as a big overweight, ugly guy. The IGN guy even said women want to harm themselves because of stuff like this. Who legitimately is looking at this? It's like turn on, like I said, one piece and going like, man, I don't have that body. Well, off a cliff, I go like, it, it, it's stupid, but <laughs> this is so dumb. I've not downloaded the Stellar Blade demo, but because of this, I am now going to go download the Stellar Blade demo and I'm going to play it. And then I'm going to come back and give you my thoughts and opinions on how I feel about this game. Because in reality, Again, this is so stupid. And one thing I have to say is this is a very Western, a niche, but a Western audience mentality. This studio's like in freaking Korea or something like that. We're talking about Koreans in, in an Asian market. Now you want this, you know, Asian studio to now bend to the few niche audience in the West. It, it makes no sense to me how, uh, this is just this is just so dumb to me. Again, I don't know why they're picking on this studio. I don't know if it's because they're smaller, you know, than like I said, these anime companies or these big gaming studios like who make Bayonetta are near. I'm gonna go download this game, play it, and then I'm gonna give you my very, very brief thoughts because it's a demo. So I'm gonna give you th brief thoughts. But ultimately, this is going to make me regardless buy this game, whether I like it or not. <laughs> 
buy this game and then I'm going to now um, do a review on it because this is dumb they're not even talking about the game but the thing is this is also why I feel like IGN and those type of outlets they don't really need to exist anymore look look at Destin for example his he has a whole channel I actually watch his channel more than I watch IGN because I feel like when he's on that channel he's more on the nose to what's actually going on in the gaming industry versus IGN is and there's too many like people at IGN giving too many different opinions but anyway um, I do feel like like YouTube is a better place for content creators to actually give their opinion than journalists now. So let me, like I said, let me cut away. Let me uh, download this game. I'll show you guys I'm downloading this game for the first time ever before I actually start the download and then I'll give you my thoughts. Here's Stellar Blade. Let me click and open it up. Here's the game down here. As you can see, don't even have the wish listed. Um, let me see, where's the demo? Here we go, Stellar Blade demo. As you can see, I have the option to download the demo. I have never downloaded the demo. Now to give you more context on this, it is April the 15th at 11.09. So I'm going back over here. So now I'm going to download the game for the first time ever. We're gonna play it. Should get a pop-up over here. Whenever it wants to recognize. Don't have enough space. Okay, I'm gonna make space, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna make space. I'm gonna uh, download this game and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so I just got done playing Stella Blade this a few hours later, and these are my opinions on the demo. I do strongly feel that these outlets are overreacting. <laughs> I do. I will say, ultimately, this this game feels so similar to Nier Automata. If someone told me this was the next part of the Nier franchise or the same people that made it, I would think that's what it is. I feel like it's near just Dark Souls type of vibe, like a little bit of Dark Souls, a little sprinkle of Dark Souls. But for me personally, is the game all that? Eh, I, you know, a lot of people online talk about, oh, this is the best game ever. It's going to be game of the year. To me, it was okay. I didn't really lose my mind over it, but it was okay. Um, I am going to still get the game when it fully comes out. Ultimately, I think these places are overreacting. I just feel like they don't like the concept of prettier women being displayed in anything it's just really really weird i don't know why this guy felt the need to talk about this i i just i feel like i said in the beginning the, the biggest issue is a lot of western this new western ideal that only been around for like a few years in all honesty is pushing a lot of narratives when it comes to this game but in reality it's like any other type of anime-esque type of game you know and that's really what it is. Comment down below what you guys think if you're picking this game up. If you're even interested in this game, let me know. And like I said, I'll be posting a video on it when it does come out. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. And I will catch you all in the next one. See ya.